spirit blaze set our hearts on fire flow river flow flood the nations with grace and mercy send forth your word lord and let there be light as we gaze on your kindly brightness so our faces display your likeness ever changing from glory to glory mirrored here may alive tell your story shine on me shine on me shine jesus shine fill this land with the father's glory blaze spirit blaze set our hearts on fire flow river flow flood the nations with grace and mercy send forth your word lord and let there be light And good morning, everyone. Palihog, kumusta ha matagusa? Inamay ang buntag. Amen. And then, um, for those who are at the back, may we request you to come forward and then sit our front seats. Onya mamalihog da na remain standing and open to our text. Are we okay, Jade? <clears throat> our lesson for today is lesson number four, and this is talking about healing a hurting home. Healing a hurting home. Our text is taken from the book of um, First Peter, chapter three, verses one to seven. So please open there, First Peter, chapter three. Verses 1 to 7. Um, let's read this responsibly. Okay, First Peter chapter 3, verse 1, the Word of God says, Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may, without the word, be won by the conversation or the manner of life of the wives. Verse number 2. Chaste means pure. Verse number three. Whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning or kanang mga decoration sa gawas, no? Of plating the hair and of wearing of gold or of putting on of apparel. Verse number four. Ato gini hinam hi balan nga ang pagsimba gitanaw sa gino ang kasing kasing dili ang outward appearance or outward look no verse number five for after this manner in the old time the holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves being in subjection unto their own husbands verse number six. Right, last verse is verse number seven. Together, ready, go. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. May God bless the reading of his word. Thank you. Please be seated. Our lesson for today is lesson number four, and it is healing a hurting home. Dunay mga panimalay karon nga bisag gitawag nga Kristohanon nga panimalay pero they are experiencing experiencing hurt no na agihapoy kasakit so kani this is addressing <clears throat> even Christian families who are in the midst of hurting mo ning gitawag nato nga dunay healing a hurting home let's go to our lesson goals okay these are just uh, practical lesson goals so that we can apply this after our lesson so that uh, this can also benefit us and our 
respective families. Number one, at the conclusion of this lesson, you should uh, be able to practice humility at home. Practice humility at home. Kung sa panimalay magpahiubusta, <laughs> minus ang kagubot. Oh, kung pananglitan, di ta magpahiubos na ay kagubot. Oh, kay panlitan, husband and wife, dili mag-agree, mag-sinagitay, mag wa, kagubot ang pamilya. Lisod ra baning na ay kagubot sa pamilya, dili ka ganahan mabilin, no? Ganahan ka mapahawa, ganahan ka mulakaw, ana no, okay. Di ka ganahan kana mga yaw-yaw, kasaba no, pero magpahiubos gani hasta ah, nindota dali ra mahupay dali masulbad ang problema so practice humility at home number two, to strive to be a godly parent so ato ning guide kay kita mga parents father mother husband wife so kung kita mo gitagaan sa Ginoo authority leadership so importante nga kita we should also live a godly example a godly life at home all right, number three, to be guided with biblical principles to live with integrity and honor. So, dapat dunatay integridad sa paglid sa pamilya so that our children can also follow us and also honor us. Because living a godly life, living with integrity and honor, these are accordance, in accordance to the biblical principles. God has set a pattern for family. No? So, importante ni. Let's go to our... Um, introduction. We live in a day and age where marriage is crumbling. Do you have you heard of a family that is broken? <laughs> Answer yes or no. Have you heard a family that is broken? Yes. Where did it happen? Osay mahibala na tunis sa trabahoan. Siya gibuagan sa asawa. Siya gibuagan sa bana. Ang iyang mga anak nag-adis-adis, ang iyang mga anak nilayas. Oh. Asa sad nato mahibalan, not only in our work, also in our neighborhood. Naara makakadungog ka, nagsinagitay, nagnilabayay nya, pagkahuman wa na, ni kagyo ang bana or ni kagyo ang asawa. Kana pag yung problema, ang asawa mo ni kagyo gibiyaan pamilya, ni kuyog ug laing laki. Oh. Kana grabe na, no? <laughs> Lisud na sa anak, di, di sila kasabot anak. You know? So, you do not need many statistics. And also, sad to say, even in the church, we hear it. Dapat na mong ta, Kristuhanon, na may solusyon sa Bible. Pero naagya po yung mahitabo, bisag sa simbahan. Doon ay gya po yung pamilya nga hurting. Broken. So, kani, solusyon ni sa ginoo. So ato ning subayon, ato ning sundon unsay biblical principle so that ang atong pamilya magkahiusa, no? Dili mahimong broken family. What else? No doubt your personal experience provides plenty of evidence. So makita nato madunggan ma in fact maybe personal experience nga mismo sa imong pamilya mao na nahitabo. So let's be guided with these biblical principles this morning. People in your work in your neighborhood and even in churches or our family have been divorced wa may divorce ato ang sa ato dunay annulment dunay legal separation ang uban nga dili ganahan mo go through aning legal separation or annulment ang ilang ipaagi mga bit mao na ni all right part of introduction next slide please god designed marriage to be permanent Maugunay atong hinumduan, no? <laughs> Kinahanglan, there is leaving from mother and mother, a mother and father, and then cleaving unto the wife, and, bo and both of them shall grow together as one flesh. So mauni siyang gusto sa ginoo. His plan is that your relationship will last as long as you both shall live. Mga kaigsunan, I've just attended the wedding of um, Roan and uh, David. Did to me sa Crimson Hotel. In fact, some of them are still there. But um, I, I went here so that uh, I uh, responsibility for the Sunday school. But as we listen to their vows, mga kaigson, very, very emotional, <laughs> very sentimental. Ma'am, daggan kay ng hilak, ma'am. Kay nindot man ng ilang history. No? Kanabang how they come across, how they came together, and then how they grow up 
so that in the years that they were related, daghan kayo mga trials, and in the end, they really can see that they are meant for each other, and they're both Christians, so we're happy for that result. And it was really, you know, emotional, and it was, you know, kung, kung ikaw, maminaw, ikaw amahan, maminaw ka sa nagsulti ni David, makahinga nga, nindot ni Barugana, ni Tawhana, ni, kay ka bang, out from the heart, kana lang may hatag na kasaring, muhatag kasaring, imong ipasulob sa imong pangasaw unun, i-express man mo what's happening inside para people will know. Ang imong gi-express nga silent, karon public na yun, dito. Doon ay sa script, taas kayong gifalo, but may yung ganit si Pastor Kent nga, si Pastor Kent nga officiate. Siya nga, uh, David, I'd like to borrow that script because it's very good to, you know, to say to a wife. <laughs> but that comes from the heart. And then, dito, daghan ng hilak. Even if you are in a situation where there seems to be no hope, so important din yun, kay Bisag, Kristohanon, may ingon man good nga, Brad, Pastor, muragwa na gila in solusyon. Mao na good ni. Yeah, di na giga makigbalik yun. Wa na gila in pamagi. Ah, di na, mao na ning last. Di na giga Pero nga, kaigsuhan, if you follow the plan of God in the Bible, even if you are in a situation where you think and there seems to be no hope, God has a plan to heal your hurting home. Na adhay gyapon plano ang ginuha ang gusto niya, mahibalik mo, mahiuli o niya, ma-heal ka ng mga hurt. So, importante, nga sudo na to ang Bible principle. What does it take to heal a hurting home? home. Unsa may angay buhaton para sundo na to kaning biblical principles about homes that were hurt and kinahanglan siya mahil. So let us find out. Let's go to item number 1. First Peter chapter 3 verse 1. And this is our text. Balik ta dito brother Jade. And verse 1. First Peter chapter 3 verse 1. Likewise, you wives be in subjection to your own husbands that if in any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. So, unsa may pasambutan ni? By the way, diri ako gani, focus again kay kisulti man sa Bible. Mga kaigsuan, kung ikaw wife, na ay problema sa lain pamilya, nga wa kay labot, no? At di mong nalang imong kaugali yung bana, no? Ay nalag apil-apil dito, no? Kanaba, kanabang Marag mga internal squabbles or whatever. Kung wakay labot, ay nalaga bilabil. Hindi, yun siya. Ang gayon sa Bible, ang concerning mo to your own husbands. The Bible tells wives to have a spirit of submission to their husbands. But submission is a two-way street. This is a two-way affair. Dili pwede nga, ako'y leader dere. Ikaw submit, submit ka kasi submit kaya ako'y leader dere. Mga kaigsunan, doon na po'y gingon sa Bible nga, kinahan lang ang submission is both ways. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21. Let's open there. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21. The Word of God, submitting yourselves. So, kung yourselves, daghan, submitting yourselves one to another. This is talking to both husband and wife, mother and father. So, dapat, ang submission is Two way, two street. Dili mingo ng husband nga ang leader. Ako mo leader. Kinalay ka submit. Mingo sa ng wife. Wala mang kang mulab. So di ko mo submit. Dili kay both ways mo na. Kinahanglan dunay submission. All right. This is an expression of humility. Mone important na importante. All right. This is living humbly. Mone primero. Kung ikaw dili garbuso, kung ikaw dili proud. By the way, by the way. Kinsa may mga bana karon buntag bana or kaning fathers taas ka mo taas ka mo and you are not ashamed that you are a father or a husband no oh. ang husband or father is the leader of the home kung ikaw leader of the home naa gani ka gubot sa pamilya father being the leader is the initiator ikaw mismo mo imo duol ikaw mismo mo imo sulbad kana ba ikaw mo imo initiate nga hilot ba Kung proud gani ang father, buta ni si Batko. Yan, nasulubad ang problema. Wa ni grabe kayo, wa man ka diha. Ikaw mo tayo leader. So dapat, kung ikaw leader, 
ikaw mo'y mo initiate, ikaw mo'y mo duol, ikaw mo'y unang mo pasaylo. Hastang hiluma sa ato mga fathers. Oh. Kinalan kita mo'y una ng mo pasaylo. Kay bulot nga na sayup atong has ame ato si atong asawa na sayup or na sayup atong anak pero magigsan if you want things healed para mahunong ning hurt ikaw moy mo initiate nga dapat ikaw moy mo duol ikaw moy mo una ikaw moy mo unag pasaylo kana ang sunod ana problem solve <laughs> pero ganing pagpagarbo ka nga ikaw moy leader nawa ang initiator Kinsa mo initiate wa man kadiha. So importante. The Bible tells husbands to be in mutual submission to their wives. So two way affair niya, two way street dili na ingon nga, oops, leader ko ha, ikaw submit ka nako. Well and good, even for Sarah calling Abraham my lord. <laughs> Kay submit gyud si Sarah kang Abraham. But you know what? It doesn't mean to say nga imong i-ignore, i-chapwere ni mo ang decision or ang suggestion sa imong partner. So, importante, both are submissive. How is it possible for people to live this way? Nga pareha man mong mo submit. Unsa may solution sa Bible, ani? Alright, next slide, please. This is still part of item number one. The answer is humility. Mm. Unsa man ang humility sa Bisaya mag pahi obos oh. kana bang kung siya diri ang height gusto kang humility magpaubos ka uy siya ni taas ikaw ubos na ka gusto mo yung masulba ng problema uh, magpaubos magigagyod umuha na sa Bible nga both ways there is submission and the answer to this problem is humility mawa o daghan problema masulbad sa kapa, sa panimalay kung ang bana labina ang bana or ang father of the family practices humility kana dili siya garboso ba mingon mm, sa nalay ikasulti sa uban ako i leader dere nya ako mo paubos ay dili oy dili na Jesus Christ gani Jesus Christ he humbled himself became obedient unto death even the death of the cross o di man nung ta siya mo nakasala samot na sabot na siguro kung kitay na sa sakto no o yang atong asawa mo na sayop hastang garbuso ha ka na to no di ni mahimo kinahang lang yung nga mo suffer ka sa imong gibuhat dili si Jesus Christ wala ana he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross. Kinsa may gipakamatya niya, kitang tanan, makasasala. Pwede rin man si Jesus Christ ka, di sa ako magbalansang, akong kondisyon, magbalansang ko, basta magbinuutan mo. Pwede man na naon, nga kondisyon ba? Sige, lansang ko, buutan naman sila. Hey man, makakita, wa may buutan. There is none righteous, no not one. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death. Naagid, kitang tanan. Muna, si Jesus Christ, nagpakamatay, voluntarily, sacrificial, dito sa krus sa Calvary. Why? He expressed His love. This is the ex- uh, extreme example of humility. If we call Jesus Christ as our Savior, and we acknowledge Him as our Lord, muna yung giset nga example. So dapat kita as head of the family, as leader of the home, and even the wives and the children should also follow the example of the Lord Jesus Christ. What is that? Be humble. Humility. Sabi na isaya pa, magpahiubos. <laughs> you know what? If you practice humility, you will be glad you did it. <laughs> Kaysa nagpagarbuso giga, suko kay ka, taas kay yung pride, mga kaigsunan, ang result ana, magmahay ka. Nga nung gibuhat man ako to? Nga nung gisulti man ako to? Nga nung gisipa man ako ka mo iro? Umuntay sa? <laughs> ang iro, umuntay si Papa. <laughs> Tanaw mo, nagod, wag yung kailabot. <laughs> the first step, <clears throat> again ha, the answer is humility. James chapter 4 verse 10, it says here, 
humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and He shall lift you up. Ang ginoo ragoy mo hatag sa imo og solusyon nga ikaw mahupay sa imong sitwasyon nga mo imong ka kani problema man to nay ako mang asawa ang problema ani pero nag magpahiubos lang ko kay kahibalo ko mo ni example sa Ginoo unya ako siyang sundon and what did the bible say humble yourselves in the sight of god in the sight of the lord and what will happen and he shall lift you up so nindot kay ang Ginoo sa bisag mingon siya nga Sige lang, sige lang, siya may sayo, pero humble lang. <laughs> di, nasulbad ang problema. Ingon ang gino, sige, ako'y bahala ni mo. <laughs> Nisunod man ka na ako. Di, nindod kayo, no? The first step to the revival and restoration of your home is humility. Mga kaigsunan, gibalik-balik ni sa Bible, kaya nga naman, kasagaran mga katawan, even Kristuhanon, dili humble. magpatibabaw ang garbo. Hinumduman gina to na basic foundation kay baluta nga luwasta. Nya atong membro sa pamilya luwasad, no? Ang atong asawa luwas. Pero in spite of this being called a Christian family, a real Christian family, usay ang atong manner of life, ang atong behavior dili magkadimao. So mao ni do na gihapoy mga mga panimalay nga nasakit hurt hurting homes pero gaingon ang Bible if we are to follow the biblical part, pattern of healing a hurting home kinahanglan importante number one is living humbly na ay mapasayloon mapakumbaba no mapahiubsanon nga espiritu The first step to revival and restoration of your home is humility. You must admit that you need help and be willing to get it. Pwede mo nga madto ka sa doktor. Usa kay kasulti sa ako doktor no kung tanaw na ako. Na ako isakit pero di lang ko ganahan mo istorya niya. Adi ko ganahan mo sulti sa tinuod ba? Adto ka dok. Na ako isakit dok. Unsa may mo sakit? Aw mura guara man dok. Mura okay ra man day. Udi may yung doktor, naari man ka. <laughs> Murag libog ko da. <laughs> o libog ning dili mo angkon. Pero ikaw sad nga bana, ikaw sad nga father of the home, kung mo iyon ka nga Lord, lisod ka ning sitwasyon na mo, pero Lord, mo ngayo kog tabang nimo kay ikaw kabalo ko ikaw moy answer, ikaw moy solution. And the Lord is willing to help you if you are also willing to admit that you need a help. Labi na sa panimalay nga hurting, no? Dili pwede nga magpadayo ng kanabang sigig away, sigig pang, pangyawyaw. Ka, kay balo ka kung naa sa pamilya, naa ka dito. Di ka ganahan mo kaon kung panalitan ang mama o papa nag-away. Bisang pag-unsa ka nindot ng pagkaon na si Motubangan. No? Pero ganig, bisag bulad na itlog, pagkaugma, itlog buwad, sunod buwad, itlog. Pero ang panimalay hapsay, maghinigugma ay, pastang ninduta ikaon noy No? bahalag hilom-hilom na kada ni burot na yung baba tungod sa buwad ba no sa sa sa, 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 sa kaparat pero nindot man nindot man ang kuyog nindot man ang atmosphere nindot man ang environment so mali pa yun pero magsigi kag humba litson sa panang uban diha <laughs> di ba pero sigig away alisod gay na living humbly so mo na primero letter a before god ang primero good sa Gino kay kung kita humble ta sa Ginoo the rest will follow First Peter chapter 3 verses 3 to 4 let's open to these verses chapter 3 verse 3 whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of plaiting the hair unsa may pasabot aning plaiting the hair hmm kalabi nag mga wedding adto gyud na make up Hairdo, wala bang kwan? Okay man na, basta nindod ka tanawan. Pero mga kaigsunan, dili na importante sa ginoo. Maaari ka sa simbahan, bahalag, wala kay hairdo, wala kay mga plating, ang sa panang style nga mga pabudbud na mga yung mga, kung sa'y tawag gani, gani yung buhok, no? Gasto pa ka, pila ka thousands para lang nga mag-limbo na yung buhok ba, nindod tanawan niya, butang ano, mga color, 
niya shades niya dito sa ilaw mo na ba para nindutan ni combination no nindutan na awon mga kaigsunan ingon ang bible whose adorning let it not be that outward that means outside appearance adorning of plating the hair and of wearing of gold so, ang gawas ko ng uh, <laughs> mamsa ha mang gawas ko mga kwintas mga bugat kayo ba nga inigin mo hi brad mo na ko do tungod sa kabugat ba sa <laughs> nindutan ni prindao bugat kayo <laughs> Pero mga isunan, dili na mo gitaw gitan aw sa Ginoo. What else? Or of putting on of apparel? Kana bang simba ko karon kay nakoy bag-o. Ah, nindot ani nakay bag-o niya, simba ka. Sir, so, nindot ani mo gisuloboy, ganahan ka ba? <clears throat> Pero ang Ginoo, it doesn't matter to him. Mabag-o na o madili ba na bag-o ba sa kay balo ka, nga kana siya limpyo. Mm. Unya kay lisod maning magsigi kag sulob nga wa sa labalaba no wa may namatay sa kanang wala balaba pero mga kaigsunan og naay mo tapad dimo ba muingo na siya nga la ilig igbaho <laughs> so maka isturbo sa na so importante nga bahala garan basta limpyo because ang gitan ang sigino is not of putting on of apparel kana bang outside appearance ba no concern kay ka pero I'm not saying that it's wrong, it's wrong to you know to put yourself the, the best banga para sa Ginoo. Pero para sa Ginoo dili na siya importante. In fact, in fact listen to this. Silang Paul, silang Peter dunay mangayo og am sa ila. Tagai ko gone arms po bitaon ko. Unsa itubag nilang Peter, Paul? Moingon na sila nga <coughs> silver and gold have I none. So kani sila dili ni sila mga flashy nga lifestyle silver and gold have I none. Kita ganahan mo mga flashy. Hmm. Pero kani example nila ni sa mga disipulo but in the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Mao na ilang puhunan si Jesus Cristo. So importante in the sight of God is our condition of the heart. Mona, pag-ari na to sa simbahan, kita lang, kinahanan kita, ready ta to worship God in spirit and in the truth. Kinahanan gikan sa kasing-kasing. Mona, importante, no? Dili tong outward appearance, living humbly before God, all right? Um, next slide please. That's letter A. Okay? <clears throat> Living humbly before God is an issue of the heart. A person who is following God must focus on the heart. Humility comes from a heart that is yielded and dedicated to following the Lord Jesus Christ. You must come to the place where you are willing to say, God, I need your help. Mauning, humble nga tao. Kung dili kayong kahambol, mayroon ka nga, ah, kaya rako ni. <clears throat> di ko nang inhalan, wak ko nang inhalan sa ginoo. Murag gamay rin ang problema. Ako lay sulbadani, kaya na ako ni. Mga kaigsunan, dili gusto ana ang ginoo. Even the very details of our life, ganahan ang ginoo nga ma-involve siya. So importante nga, Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding in all. Kalimang ka, tanan. Gamay nagdako, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Kinahanglan, kung kita mo at practice ta, mo express na kita, humble ta, mga kaigsunan, mo abot ang uh, kanabang time or place nga mo ingon ta, Lord, di na ako ni kaya. Tabangi taon ko, Lord. Kana, mo tabang ang ginoo sa pagsulbad sa hurt sa inyong pamilya. Right, this is a guide for each one of us. Living humbly. Next slide, please. This is item number one. We'll be discussing item one and two today. Letter B. First is living humbly before kang kinsa gani? God. Kay if you are living humbly before God, the rest will follow. Pero dili gani ka right ani sa Ginoo. Mga kaigsoonan, taphaw na diri puro na mga show, puro na mga reputation, puro na mga front. Pero diri gani, diri man agikan. 
sakto ang imong relasyon diri. So dapat unahon na to ang vertical relationship because horizontal relationship will follow. Living humbly before one another. That's letter B. Sunod na siya. In your pop sheets, you can answer that one. Living humbly before one another. First Peter chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. Indutli. The Bible does not teach chauvinistic domination of women by men. God's plan is for a man to be a servant leader just as Christ was the disciples' feet. Let's open to that verse first. First, first Peter chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. Alright, verse 5. <clears throat> for after this manner, in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in God adorned themselves being in subjection unto their own husbands. Verse 6. <clears throat> Next verse, please. Okay. <clears throat> Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid, afraid with any amazement. So, grabe ang example ni Sarah, nga siya, do na submission and is living humbly because he, even his, I mean her um, husband, si Abraham, iyang gitawag nga, Lord. <laughs> Unsa may gusto ni mo, Lord? Coffee? Tea? <laughs> Unsa may gusto ni mo? Di ba? Ana ang pagsilbi, di ba? Maabot dito ang, ano ang, kapoy kay sa trabaho ang bana pag abo dito o oh, silbihan ka unsa inindot nga pagkaon di ba sa inindot nga na coffee tea or whatever vitamins para nindot ba no pero maabot ang bana gikan sa trabaho kapoy kayo pag abo dito wala pa tay luto <laughs> wa man kay natanaw mag kardo nga taas taas ba dugay dugay di ma makuan ma, ma masakit ang bana ana <clears throat> When you follow God's plan, it works. Again, ang ginoo may designer sa family. Onya naghatag man siya pattern sa family. According to His word, ingon siya kung musunod lang mo, ligon lagi ni. Kung musamot, uh, musunod lang mo, it really works for your family. So ang ato is to really follow. When you follow God's plan, it works. We both enjoy our relationship more because we are fulfilling the roles God designed for each one of us. Para sa amahan, para sa inahan, para sa mga anak. We have discussed that in our uh, last lesson. So kinahanglan, kahibulutan mo fulfill sa atong responsibility. O angay ginato ng sundon, kaya nga naman, mga kaigsunan, ang ginoon ay gasulti. It works. <laughs> Kaya mo hindi nga, ah, bahala garbuso ko, hindi nga pag-agi. Di na siya musaler. <laughs> Kaya nga naman, giing naman sa gino, be humble. Alright, next slide. Before God and before one another. Humility towards God must precede humility towards others. Kaning atong fleshly nature, morning atong gusto, sige. I am first. Ato man ang ma-prove ba? Kanang adto ka sa ATM? Nga, makita ka na naghanag padung dito. Uy, gusto kang mauna ay. Ako gina, para ako yung mahuman na rin ko. Oh. Mauna atong nature. Pero nindot ang Kristohanon, nga mo ingon siya nga, nagukod mo, labi na ang imong kagukod, PWD. Ang kanana pa taong dito, kay ko, oh, pag ano dito niya, ikaw, ang so, kaya ko niya. <laughs> Pero kung ingin mo, dire dire sir, kuyog da sir, ikaw una. Uy, di na makalimot niya. Kinsa man ka? <laughs> Murag di man ka tao. <laughs> Kaya nga naman, ang nature sa tao is, ako una. I am first. Kanina, experience na mo ni Gahapon. Pag ato na mo, guwan, dire sa Hardin de Bus, ano, sa Crimson na day. Nagdali mi kay, kuan man sad, ganang, Nai ko andin to ba? Kinahala, this time, abot mo. So, dali namin dito. Saka ko sa second Mactan Bridge. <clears throat> At least, you know, okay rin, makakusog ta kay bakante-bakante. So, kusog ko. Pag-abot na ko dito sa kanabang nai una, nagmotor. Sunod, ah, nagsunod niya, jeepney. 
By the way, kung ikaw jeepney driver, this is the rule para sa transportation. Kanang lane nga tapad sa median, that is what we call the inner lane. Katong layo sa median, mo na outer lane. Kung ikaw slow moving vehicle ka, dapat didto ka sa outer lane. Palayo ka sa median. Kaya nga naman, kanang inner lane, tapad sa median, that is called the fast lane. Pero gua ka kahibaloan na, ngayon ka nga, duha gud eh, makapili kog bisig asa. Diba? Kung waka kahibalo ba? Kaya yeah, diri ra ko, kay murag, diri, mga hinay man niya. Hinay sad ka ba? Pero di lang ko, pero hinay mo. So ang nahita mo, kamong duha, nag-occupy mo sa duha ka lane, puro mo hinay. Ang kasunod yung ta, pas-pas. Wa, di ka agi, kay nagibabagan man niya mo. So, ang kanang inner lane, fast lane, kanang outer lane, slow moving vehicles. So, dapat ato na i-apply. Parehara na, pagsakay ni mo, escalator. Ang rule ana ng escalator, pagsakay ni mo, right, ana dahil ka, ibakante ni mo ang left. Kaya nga naman, doon na may mga tao nagdali. Kaya ikaw, waka nagdali, kuyog pa ni mo yung uyab, atubang pa ginawa. <laughs> Huwata nang dito, gahuwat ba? Kaya nga, mga the holding hands mo mo, istorya-istorya mo. Importante that you should be guided with that. Mga kaigsunan, pag abot na ulit kay slow moving, diri siya agi. Igo na yung kung mulahos sa kanang, kuan ba? Kanang jeepney nga naghinay. Ako, nindot na niya, kay hinay naman yung overtake na ko, out the ridge na, kaya ako man yung fast lane. Ang katong motor, gauna, gana, ni Ana bitang nagkalit. <laughs> Muna ni. <laughs> Kanabang, sa kagip sa kagip gagipot ba sa kagipot sa lugar nga kusog na imong dagan nya hinay ni dire ang motor ni anak gyud ka nagipugos gyud ba ah murag mawa imong pagkakristohanon ba <laughs> busi na gyud ako sugay reaction lagi pero mo kay igsunan listen to this importante nga kita dili ta ang attitude nga i am first Ang Kristohanon dapat yield sige. Ikaw una para dito mag-away dito magukod. Get out of my way. Mo na uban mag-try og motorbike. La kusog ayo sige busina. Pip pip hawa da kay mo agi ko. Morning attitude your fleshly nature. If there is contention and strife in your home, it is an indication of pride rather than humility. Basta gay kay kagubot. Pangutan na, kinsa may garbuso dere. Hmm. To heal your home, you must begin by humbling yourself to God and to each other. So, importante, primero sa ginoo, sunod to each other. Alright? Next slide, please. Item number two. I think we're on your item two. This is the last item. <clears throat> heal a hurt. Give a hug. Nindu ta, no? Pasailo ka, no? O oh, di, sold. <laughs> toga, nindod kayong tog ni mo. Pero kanang wakan ng pasailo, toga. Tapos, sige ka pong kagmugot ba? No? Dugay ka tog, limbag-limbag ka dire, pero nindod itong pasailo. Next slide, please. <clears throat> Alright, item number two. Living helpfully. So, it's not only living humbly, later age manitanan, humbly. Sunod, helpfully. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 2 3 verse 2 while they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear kaning chaste means pure conversation refers to the manner of living or pattern of behavior the way we live should be pure and under this li living helpfully a a helpful wife is a godly wife wives is that amen Murag hinay da, di ganahan mo tabang. Wives is that, amen. A helpful wife is a godly wife. Proverbs 31, verses 10 to 15. Let's read these verses. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? Proverbs 31, 10, verse 11. And next verse, please. Okay. Proverbs 31, and next verse. Wow, murag duga itong kuan. <clears throat> Here. Uh, 
Okay, verse 11. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. Verse number 12. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Verse 13. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. Verse 14. She is like the merchant's chips. She bringeth her food from afar. And verse 15. She riseth up also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. Okay? So, this is being a helpful housewife. Going back to our slide, that's the first item. Living helpfully, under that letter A is a helpful wife, is a godly wife. Alright? Next slide. Tanaw na to, unsay gidescribe sa Bible, kung kinsan yung gitawag sa ginoo nga, godly wife. The model wife is a virtuous or godly woman and she is of great value. So kung ikaw godly woman, dili ka mapalit. Hmm. Walay value ba, no? So this is of great value. She provides a stable environment for her husband since the husband knows that he can trust her. He is not under pressure to try to try to buy her affection. Her commitment to caring for the family frees him to play, to play a leadership role within the community. Ato ni apply, si Pastor Ken, suportaan ni Ma'am Ruth, siya mo'y wife, dili na kayo si Pastor Ken ma-concern, I mean, kanang ma-pressures about family matters, gano'n man, gihandol sa iyang wife. Mao ni siya ay gitawag na to ng model wife. So, maupo na sa atong pamilya, kinahanglan ang man of the family Ang iya is ang great influence dito sa gawas kaning community. Kaya nga naman, ni salig man siya sa iyang wife. Nga mo ay mumanage sakto sa panimalay. So dapat, dako sa influence sa gawas, kaya nga naman, okay man iyang panimalay. Mga kagsunan, bati, may yung ka nga, dako kayo kong influence sa gawas, pero ang pananamin nga, kagubot yung panimalay. Hindi na siya pwede. Alright, next slide. <clears throat> Living helpfully. And under that is a helpful wife, is a godly wife. Tanaw na to unsay description sa Bible because sometimes kaning mga modern wives or modern women karon mo ingon man nga ah para ramana sa karaan karon bago naman tanga generation so lahi naron so importante nga we should follow according to the Bible. What is the Bible principle of this? All right, um, can we follow on next slide? Murang dugay atong kuan. <clears throat> okay. Let's just continue with this. She is committed to doing good and helpful things for others. She rises up to make sure that physical needs or her family, which is on food or clothing, are met. She is an industrious and willing worker who has a dedicated who has dedicated herself to meeting the needs of her family. The modern woman does, who does not understand God's design and plan often thinks that God wants women to be the second class citizen. Uragwa pa itong internet gapon. So, dili, sayup ni kung mga ka nga, ang wife second class. Dili, dili. Kaya nga naman, grabe ang qualification sa ginoo nga matawag kag model wife. Alright? Let's continue. He, uh, she looks at the variety of skills and talents of the virtuous woman demonstrated in God's word. This godly woman managed the affairs of a household and a staff of his employees. Monisya, number one. Oh. So, consider na to ang model wife, he is a human resource manager. Oy, mangkag human resource manager ka. Dako na nga responsibilidad. What else? She makes clothing to sell. Oy, fashion designer sad. No? Kabalo, kaantigo. Ka ka what else? She is confident enough to make good decisions regarding real estate. Uy, real estate practitioner po ding model wife. Eh? <clears throat> no? Kaya bolo siya on say land nga paliton para sa agriculture nga produce siya fruit. Kamao siya. What else? She plants her field and plants crops to turn a profit. An entrepreneur. So grabe ning model wife. Eh? Ikaw usa ka human resource manager, ikaw usa ka fashion designer, ikaw usa ka real estate practitioner, ikaw usa ka entrepreneur. Unya, second class na. Dili oy. First class ang model wife. <laughs> so important di sundo na to ang pulo sa Ginoo ha. Dita mo belittle aning position sa wife. If your relationship and home is hurting, 
take the first step by committing yourself in helpful living. Mga teenagers na nagbabay, hinom dumigod, tanawa na inyong pamanhon nun, or ka na inyong boyfriend, basta gani, tapulan, dili, makaprovide ani. Ikaw, maapiktuhan sa ka, pag minyo na mo. So, importante nga, kugihan, industrious, kamao mo, provide sa family. Next slide, please. Living, living helpfully. We're uh, closing on this. A helpful wife is a godly wife. Alright? Let her be Godly wife, karon sa husband. Let her be a helpful husband is a Christ-like husband. Christ-like. So, unsa mani? Basa ni Ephesians 5, 28, 29, and 33. 5, 28, 29, and 33. Brother Jade, please open there. Okay. God did not intend for the husband to be the dictator. Verse 28. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. So importante nga higugmao ni mo partner. For no man for no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. Okay, next. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Verse number 33. Going to verse number 33. Alright? Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself and the wife see that she reverence her husband. So, importante that a helpful wife is a godly wife but also on the husband, a helpful husband is a Christ-like husband. On some illustration na eh. God did not intend for the husband to be a dictator in his home. The husband should be a servant leader. Unsa man ang servant leader? Ang atong example ni si Jesus Christ washing the feet of his disciples. Grabe ka pasensyoso, grabe ka pakumbaba, grabe ka mapahiubso anon. So morning servant leader, a leader by example, not only in words but in actions. He should be a family man, loves his wife and children. He is a lover of the family. What else? He should be willing to sacrifice for his family. So what will he do? He will work hard so that he can provide for the family. He is a provider, a protector. He is willing even to die so that his family would be safe. Mauni siyang husband, nga Christ-like, no? A Christ-like love does not allow marital problems to linger unresolved. So gitawa ni husband nga problem solver. Ayaw katuog kung wa pa nasulbad ang problema. Kinahalan magpasaylo ay mo para nindot inyong katuog. He steps forward and takes the lead to be helpful. So, morning gitawag nato nga initiator. Dili maghuwat ah kana sa may nakasala kinahanglan sa moduol nako. No, kay ikaw leader, ikaw moduol ito para ma-reconcile mo. Hmm. He that has offended you, go to that person. Morning biblical principles sa Matthew. All right, living helpfully. I think we're on the last slides going to our summary. Welcome home. New beginnings exist to be a home that brings healing to the hurting, hope to the hopeless, and freedom to the bound. So, nindod kayo, no? Mapuoli kag pamilya. Hi! Kanang mahapsay ni diri. Hi! Nindod ni kay na ay hope diri sa among family. Hi! Nindod ni kay dili ta ingon nga bound. There is freedom. Alright? Next slide. This is the summary, I believe. Next slide, please. For our item one and item two, let's read this all together. Item three is living honorably. So that will be for next Sunday. Summary, lesson four, healing a hurting home. Number one is living humbly. Unsa gani, binisaya sa humbly? Magpahiubos o mapahiubsanon. Letter A, everybody, go. Louder, everybody, go. Una, yuna, vertical. Letter B. Ang next, horizontal. Kung nasettle ta dito, dali ra, masettle diri. Alright, item number two. Living helpfully. Matidama, matinabangon. Letter A. A helpful. Oh, nindot na. Godly na. Di na, second class citizen na. First class na. Letter B. Oh, Christ-like husband. He is the provider, 
He is the protector. He is the preserver. He is the initiator. He is the leader of the home. So, important that you should learn these facts. Bible principles. To God be the glory that is the Sunday school lesson this morning. Today your first time here, or maybe your first time in a while? If so, maybe you're wondering exactly who we are and what this church is all about. Well, we'd like you to know that we're a group of ordinary people who are on an amazing journey together, following Christ. Our guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired Word of God, and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate, and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community, and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So, no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey, following Christ and living out His plan for us. So, welcome to church. Amen. Amen. Mayong buntag sa tanan o welcome sa ato ang uh, panimbaw ni ni nga kabuntagon. I hope nga uh, ang matagusan nalipay nga naata sa balay ang puanan. Amen. Nalipay ba ta murag medyo mugot ang uban naong ba? Nga ano man. Usa mo ron pizza ha, pizza dos po man. Okay. Ano man gipangbayad na. <laughs> All right, mayong uh, buntag welcome sa ato ang uh, panimbaw. O gado na tay uh, mga bisita dre ug ako uh, tawgon ang inyo nga mga pangalan. I hope na itingog I hope dili mo maulaw o uh, nalipay mi diri sa World Inid Baptist Church malipay mi nga naa mi mga bisita. Okay? Akong pagatawgon ang uh, mga bisita nato diri, mga bisita first ni Vladimir Seth Tapayan, si Vincent Ryan and then si Arlene Eseyo. All right? Asa man ni sila? Palyo ga tindog o ga uh, Amen. Tagaan na tug masipang pakpak. Sayo kaayo ni sila mga kaigsunan. Okay? Next, our uh, next visitors, mga bisita ni uh, Brother Rodney, si Mike Frank, o si Samson, uh, Bob Harvey from Orel, Banilad. Asa man ni sila, tagaan na itong masipang pakpak. Amen. And also those, ato ang uh, mga basketball players, paliog, tindog, Zad. Tindog, Brad. Okay, tagaan na itong masipang pakpak. Amen. They are our uh, uh, under sa ato ang uh, basketball ministry. Coach by Rodney Setenta. So, salamat. Nga naasa na diri karon. Then, mga bisita sa ni Dave. Okay, si Rebecca. O si Rachel. Gikan sa Pusok. Or Paho New Paradise. Ah, sorry. Ah, sitio Lupa Kasuntingan. Ang mga taga-kasuntingan dahil. Sorry. Asa man mga bisita ni ah, Brother Dave. Naasa luyo. Tagaan na ito. Masipang pakpak. Amen. Oh. Mga bisita sa ni uh, Sister Cortis Arnilin, si Noreen May Carillo o si Desiree Chris Buena. O, tagaan na itong masipang pakpak. Amen. Salamat. Alright. And then also, ato ang uh, last nga bisita, uh, ang nakanindot ani, kay ang nagda niya, ang iyang kaugalingon, gikan pa sa Davao, si Lee Rochi. Okay, asa mo siya. Naadri sa kilid. Tagaan na ito, Gama, si Papakpak. Ma'am, welcome. Oh, hometown sa ito ang uh, presidente, Davao. Amen? So, uh, manindog tao, uh, manganda tao, uh, welcome song din ng Kabuntagon. Brother John will lead us uh, the songs this uh, morning. Uh, manindog tao, uh, mag-alaman nung high town, the uh, second uh, verse nga ito ang uh, bagakantahon. Let's sing the song with a clap. I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. Ready? Sing. I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with 
God's wonderful people of the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people, what a sight just to see all the happy faces Praising God in heavenly places, what a thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. Before tamu padayon, ato sa di welcome mga tuwa nga speaker na ining nga kabuntagon, missionary Lumer Hope, o kauban siya nga mga anak, si Jorsom, o si Geos Paliuga Tindog, other, nag-play sila dito, tagaan ato, masipang pakpak. From Cambodia, Kampon Chom. Okay, as you sing, next verse, magalaman nung hayta. I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people what a sight just to see all the happy faces praising God in heavenly places what a thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people Now it can be just anywhere That the Spirit of the Lord will be there too There's no fellowship so sweet there's no thrill that can compete with the thrill I feel whenever God's children meet. I love the thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. Love the thrill that I feel when I get together with. God's wonderful people, what a sight just to see all the happy faces. Praising God in heavenly places, what a thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. Magampo tayo, doko ang ulo, pium sa mga mata, O Lord, salamat. Nini nga kabuntagon, ngayon maghihatag ka na mo, ginoo. Nini nga adlaw na usab nga Domingo, nga diin kami makasimba. Diha sa Espiritu o kamatuuran. Salamat, O Lord, sa mong pagkamayo. Gugma, grasya, nga mong gi-extend sa mong kinabuhi. Nga diin among natagamtaman naman. O pinagi ni ini mga butanga kami, nagaligon ang amo ang relasyon diha ka ni mo. O bisang pa, O Lord, sa mga challenges. Nga mong gipatagamtam ka na mo. Kung kami lang mo dangop diha ka ni mo maga sangpit diha kanimo kanunay ug magasalig diha kanimo o lord bisan unsa pa ni nga challenge ikaw nagasaad nga ikaw mohatag kanamo ka papahulay ug bisan pagkaalam nga diin kami makapadayon sa amo ang kinabuhi sa among kristohanong kinabuhi salamat o lord nini nga adlaw nga domingo sa makausa nga kami nagatigom og magakat-on sa imong nga pulong Ginoo nga diin among madala sa among pagkinabuhi samtang kami naguhat sa imong ikaduhang pagbalik gamita ang amo ang 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 mensahero karon missionary Lomer Hope de la Cruz salamat usab siya ang kinabuhi uyog sa iyang pamilya Ginoo nga ilang gihatag didto sa lugar sa Cambodia ikaw usab magapanalangin sa serbisyo didto uyog sa iyang mga uban sa mga katawhan namo didto Ginoo ug bisan pa o Lord amo sa gitugyan si Pastor Kent didto sa katipunan ka usab magauban kaniya bisan pa sa mga other churches karon nga nagaligunay nga nagasimba nagaawit da kini mo pagdayeg da kini mo amahan ikaw magadawat sa among pagsimba karon Ginoo Lord ikay nakakita sa among kasingkasing nga huna salamat O Lord nga Dios nga among gialagaran Dios nga mapasayloon kay nakakita sa among kasingkasing nga huna unsa may mga lama nini salamat O Lord nga ikaw misaad nga ikaw mo hugas nini kung amo ni isugid ang among mga, mga kasaypanan sa kinabuhi salamat O Lord ikaw nga higugma mapasayloon Oga, O oh Lord, takos ka sa tanan nga ang nga simbahon. Dawata, O oh Lord, amung pagsimba ka ron. Gisalig ang tanan o gitugyan sa ngala ni Jesus. Amen. All hail the power of Jesus' name is our first song for this morning. 
Verse 1, sing, All hail the power of Jesus' name, let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem, and crown him Lord of all. Bring forth the royal diadem, and crown him Lord of all. He chose the seed of Israel, he ransomed from the fall. Hail him who saves you by his grace, and crown him Lord of all. Hail him who saves you by his grace, and crown him Lord of all. Let every kindred, every tribe on this earth shall bow to Him, O Majesty, as crown and crown Him, Lord of all. To Him, O Majesty, as crown and crown Him, Lord of all. Oh, that we the other sacred throne we at His feet may fall. We'll join the everlasting song and crown Him Lord of all. We'll join the everlasting song and crown Him Lord of all. We have heard the joyful sound. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Ready to sing. We, we have heard the joyful sound. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Spread the tidings all around. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Bear the news to every land. Clap the steeps and cross the waves. Onward these our Lord's command. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Wafted on the rolling tide. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Tell to sinners far and wide. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. And so the sea echo back the ocean caves. Earth shall keep her jubilee. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Sing upon the battle strife. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. By his death and endless life. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Shout it simply through the gloom. When the heart for mercy craves. Sing it triumph o'er the tomb. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Give the winds a mighty voice. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Let the nations now rejoice. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Shout salvation full and free. Highest hills and deepest caves. This is our song of victory. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. To God be the glory, great things He hath done. Is our third song for this morning. Verse 1 sing to God be the glory, great things He hath done. So love He the world that He gave us His Son, who yielded His life and atonement for sin, and opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. O oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give Him the glory, great things He hath done. Verse number 3, verse 3. Oh, 
great things he had taught us, great things he had done, and great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But purer and higher and greater will be our wonder, our worship when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear His voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son, and give Him the glory, great things He hath done. Please be seated, and it's here required for the special number.
I found Jesus, and in my heart he came to say, and the reason I sing is that he saved me, new life he gave me. Now I walk his way, just like the sunrise. On a springtime morning, he fills my longing. In a moment's time, a song was born, and its melody shall thrill my heart eternally. A song was born when I found Jesus, and in my heart he came to stay. And the reason I sing is that he saved me, new life he gave me. Now I walk his way. Just like the sunrise Ooh. on a springtime morning, he feels my longings in a moment's sign. A song was born, and its melody shall thrill my heart. Eternally, a song was born. Eternally, a song was born. Eternally. Salamat sa mga special numbers. One thing common sa ato ang mga special numbers, mga kaigsunan. The name of Jesus. Amen? The name of Jesus. Exodus chapter 20, verse number 7. Uh, it is a third command given by Moses. That dili na to gamiton ang pangalan ni Kristo or sa pangalan na to, sa ato ang ginoo, in vain. Hello? Amen? Usahay, sa iyo na lang kina gamiton ang pangalan ni Jesus. I-shortcut pag yun. Kabantay mo mga kaigsonan, kasagaran ko dani, kay kita ang Pinoy, magsunod-sunod rin ko sa, na ba, Amerikano rin, wak man o? Murag ako rin may dol-dool. <laughs> Para mo smile sa madra. Kabantay mo niya, kita Pinoy, magsunod-sunod. Di ba, nalay matagak baso, nalay mahitabo, gamiton ang pangalan sa ginoo. Di ba? Paminaw nga naman, sa kanta sa itong choir, gamahanan ang pangalan sa ginoo. Adunay gahong mga kaigsunan. So gamito na ito sa sakto nga pamagi. Nga nung dili man, kabantay mo, dili mo, Muhammad, dili lagi. Nga nung pangalan mga di Jesus Christ. Kaya kay balo sila nga gamahanan ang mga kaigsunan. You see? So I hope ato nang gamito, especially we as Christians, ato ng amahan. Amen? Ako, gamito ng akong pangalan sa akong mga anak, magbasket niya, masipyat, no way! Hindi ko <laughs> kalain ba? Sa akong malain ko, anak, kung masyat, pwede ra, no way! Liwat ko sa akong papa, anak, pwede. Pero sa mga bati nga mga panghitabo, gamito, mga kaigsunan, samot na ang ginawa. Amen? So, lita, wat ay laing giwali diri, gibayaw, o gigi gituboy mga kaigsunan ang pangalan ni Kristo. Amen? Sa atong andamon ng atong kasing-kasing minuhuna ni Ana, unya sa paghatag sa pulong sa Diyos, but magapadayon ta, doon na mga bisita, salamat sa mga 
members na ito, diriyo, sa mga, ato mga staffs, nga nagkuging, nga, nga nagdala, og mga bisita, ang ginoo magpanalangin sa inyo. Doon natin bisita, padayon si bisita ni Angelica Kotamora, ang iyang bisita si Herbieto Joseph Galen from Saksak Consolasyon, tagaan na itong masipang pakpak. Amen? And then also, mga bisita ni Dave, pamilya sa mga ni, ni, ni Ma'am Bridget, Diri sa may bakili, dilit na lang na ako, daghan ni sila, di na lang ako i-mention ang mga names, but mga bisita ni Ma'am Bridget, yung mga kaliwat, palihuga, tindog. Brother Dave, asama ni sila, Brother Dave, palihuga, tindog. Tagaan na itong masipang pakpak. Amen. Oh, God, you are welcome here sa so World Dine Baptist Church. We as members here, especially our pastor, malipay good nga na ay bisita, mga kaigsunan. Dili, si, si Pastor Ken, dili ganahan nga na ay empty seats, na ay empty chairs. Huwag ambot, asa na sila karon basing nasa SM, basing nasa Ayala. Salamat nga naamod re. Amen? Salamat nga naamod re. You, uh, sama ni Mary or ni, ni Martha, ni, ni pili mo sa good part. So mga na mga kaigsunan. Okay? Madindog ta, let's uh, raise our Bibles up and let's say our pledge to the Bible. Palihan ko, Brother uh, Jade. Okay, uh, flash the screen ho, or whoever kin sa mana naga no dra. Uh, pledge to the Bible. Let's raise our Bibles up. Black Bible, brown Bible, blue. Gipang kaskas na nga mga Bible, you know, nga koana na nga, na nga tang-tang na ang cover. By the way, uh, Brother Michael, Kanyeza or Kanyeza family, they are doing a good kining koan. Kung magpa, koan mo sa inyong cover, dool ni Mike Kanyeza. Nasa lana. Na ako yung 10% na. Let's say our pledge to the Bible. Let's say, go. This is my Bible. It is God's holy word. It is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It tells me who I am, what I can become, and where I am going. It renews my mind. It changes my heart. It refreshes my soul. It is my daily bread. By faith, I will believe its promises, obey its commandments, and honor its principles in my life. With the Bible as my guide, I will walk by faith and not by sight. Let's welcome to our pulpit in behalf of Pastor Kent, missionary Lumer Hope, De La Cruz from Cambodia, Kampon Cham. Tagaan na masipang pakpak. Good morning. While you're standing, please open your Bible to Acts. I'm honored to be here this morning. Thank you for your prayers and your support. Thank you for visiting us, Kampong Cham, last month. Og, uh, I wish everybody could have gone. Amen? <laughs> but uh, uh, I hope nga karong buntag uh, with the report, you can see what God is doing there as a church. So uh, Acts chapter 16, verse 9 to 15. Salamat sa gino nga maka tuon taog mga prinsipyo pinagi sa yang pulong and uh, I really like uh, the life of Apostle Paul uh, dili lamang nga nakakatun siya kundi dili iya pud gipasa ang iya mga nakatunan ngadto sa si mga kauban og ilabi na gayod ngadto sa iglesia so uh, verse 9 to 15 nana mo Let's read together, loud, ready, go. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. There stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him, saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. And after he had seen the vision, immediately we endeavored to go into Macedonia, assuredly gathering that the Lord had called us for, to preach the gospel unto them. Therefore, loosing from Troas, we came with a straight course to Samotricia, and the next day to Neapolis, and from thence to Philippi, which is a chief city of that part of Macedonia, and a colony. And there we there in that city abiding certain days. And on the Sabbath we went out of the city by riverside, where prayer was wont to be made. And we sat down and spake unto the women which resorted thither. And a certain woman named Lydia, a silver purple of the city of Theatira, which worship God heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, and she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. And when she was baptized and her household, she besought us, saying, If ye have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, 
Come into thy house and abide there and she constrained us. Magam po ta, Lord, salamat nining buntag amahan, salamat sa kamatuuran ng diha lamang makita sa imong pulong o sa imong anak sa lamang si Ginoong Iso Kristo. Salamat Ginoong pinagi ni Ginoong Iso Kristo makakaplag kami kamatuuran o dalan nga o sa lamang nga to sa langit. O Lord, salamat ng dunay kinabuhi diha kang Kristo. Lord, salamat sa Muglisya din sa Mandawi. Thank you, Pastor Ken, Mom Ruth, the children, the family, and the faithful men and women. Thank you, Brother Noe, for his faithfulness, his family as well. Thank you, Lord, that we can worship you in spirit and truth. Help me now, Lord, even as we would see what you're doing in Cambodia. And the power of the Word of God and the Spirit of God would be declared to us this morning. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you, Maglin Kuta. Oga, I make a small report about what you're doing. Mine eye affected my heart. Og, I was an over, uh, overseas worker in Saudi Arabia. Kakita ako video about Cambodian landmine victims. And God used that video to call me to Cambodia. And Dr. Jisava told me, Noi, you come home. You're one of the answers to our prayers because we're praying for 10 families to go to Cambodia. Where 95% are Buddhist, 3% are Muslim, 2% are so called Christians. A country ravaged by war, ugigamit sa gino ang gira ng atong mag arado sa ilang kasing kasing. Ugdid to kita nag sugod sa atong simbahan sa Banking Kang. That picture below is our first picture in uh, May of 1997. We started a church there and then we planted. The word of God through tract distribution, o kininga simbahan na mugna, itukot sa gino through tract distribution, vacation Bible school, o medical missions, and we ordained Pastor Seahawk, then we sent out missionaries to different parts of the country, uh, specifically down the south, o we planted uh, the word of God through partnering with missionaries in and outside the country. Through medical uh, missions, we started missionaries and then train nationals through the camp ministries and Bible college. Or using the Barangay Hall, so dito Village Hall, we started a church in uh, Tropiang Rasai. And then started other churches down south, like Stung Chai. And uh, in, uh, 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 what do you call this one? Uh, uh, Luong District. Then God gave us a property in Trang Triang, where we started the school. Uh, also with 13 children, including my two boys in 2007. Today, God has blessed us with more than uh, 600 students and 15 minutes of Bible is being taught every day. And it's self-supporting. And the teachers there are our, our children before. So we baptize our people in the pond, in the pot, or in the pool, wherever water is available. And then we, you know about our Gitaog uh, Nato roaming ministry with young people and challenge them to give their lives to God and one of that is Sister Strayan who you know and support and she's now in Thailand waiting for her visa to go to South Africa she's uh, there with Brother Lipago. In 2008 we went north to Vietnam I mean to Laos and on the way we saw the city of Kampung Cham we transferred there in 2010 through home Bible studies film showing ministries and a lot of track distribution and Bible studies and win one soul, four souls, five souls, declaring the word of God. And mga uh, you cannot limit what God is doing through the printed paper. So uh, we teach English. We take care of the children's needs in English, but also use the children as a bridge to the parents, to the family. So God has blessed us with parents. O dunay mga ginikana na karon na sa tong simbahan. We uh, started the medical work in Suung, and so Gateway Baptist Mission was started. Later on, we were able to buy property, and later on, we in turned over the work to Brother Devera. So Brother Devera is doing the ministry there, and nananiya uh, ang property, of course, the papers, and he has developed the work for the glory of God. It is good to uh, pass on with the wisdom of God another work has been started, another man can do it, and we partner in the prisons. Uh, we're able to use our uh, facility there. 
we're able to put up a small building where we teach English, we teach Bible, and then tunluan po sila o unsaon pag mahimo silang uh, beautician or barber. Kaya haron inigawas nila sa presuhan, di na sila magbaligyag drugs, no? Amen? And then it's a place where we uh, uh, continue to win souls for Christ. Then uh, this is our people in Kampung Cham. We used to rent a place. And then in the afternoon, I go to Miriam Tia and have a house church. And there, the Miriam Tia mission is now being done by the national. So uh, that's the house. We started on the bed. Now we're outside and we have evangelistic programs. We use this in the villages so that people could know and hear the gospel. And God gave us a property in Kampung Cham, Kawayanan, Kakugan Pasauna. Today, there are more than 100 houses around us. But in 2013, we began to build slowly. Mamuna ang plano sa we build small and then becomes bigger. And then in 2015, we use the property. And today, God has blessed us with the people, and uh, we are using downstairs. But now, we have divided that into a classroom because daghang mga bata. And then when we go to the adults, may ngon ang mga tiguang, tiguang nami. But you can take our children. So that's the challenge of, of, of our work there. So we started another school in the north, which uh, we prayed to God, Lord, akilang tag lugar. So God gave us a, a 400 square meter right next to the church. And that was it. 2017, we have our seventh anniversary. But the buyers came and God blessed us. We used that Sunday school property to be the uh, place for worship. Then last year, January 15, we started the school. And the pictures of both, there is a left. That's uh, Australia. Karunana siya yang anak, mga pungumangkon. They bring the kids to school. And through Christian education, we can change the Buddhist country into a Christian nation someday. This is Upon. He is blind. Yang asawa si Sukha. They're both blind. Yang anak si Narot, kanang lalaki, o pagumangkon, they're sending them to school. Umuoy pa yung unang magbayad, no? Although they pay half, but we praise God last year. We have our first moving up ceremony. Og mga kaigzonan, doon natay karon 25 na ka mga graduates sa itong uh, school. Then we graduated 10 of our Bible college students to reach out to the many bridges ng wala pag Christian work. And last year, Mom Ruth and Pastor Kent went to our anniversary, and we have uh, 12 souls that got saved. So you are part of the team. And be on board of the team here in Mondawe as you labor with us. We are partnering with you. You are partnering with us. We have Christian school sponsorship program. We have medical and dental work going on. And we thank God that you are a part of it. Praise God that we can labor for him. God's work is exciting. Amen? Amen. And as we go back to Acts chapter 16, mga kiksunan, atong tanawon din he, Gion sa ni Apostle Paul paghimo sa maong ministry. And uh, we thank God that we can learn from this scripture this morning. No? Balik na dito sa atong gibasa, Acts chapter number 16. And uh, makita nato din he that Paul never did rest until he was in prison. No? But uh, on this passage of scripture, makita nato nga ang Gino na gamit ni Paul. Pero Paul was just like us. Doon na mga pangutana. Doon na mga disappointment. Pangutana ta. Have you ever had experience where you knew God was calling you to do something but wala man hitabo ang imong expectation. It did not come out to be what you thought it should be. If you have a call from God to do a Sunday school ministry, a track distribution ministry, help in medical missions, help here in church, whatever that might be. It might not be in the front line, but in the sideline. Well, say, may muntah. Wa man ko ma kitaan nila. But you know what? God sees you. You couldn't wait to get where you were going, usahay. But it was so unlikely that what you expected did not happen. At nahita po na sa kuwa. You know? Mga ingot sa gino, Lord, maumag yun eh. 
for the first three years in the ministry in Cambodia, what may mga national Cambodian nga mo give their lives to God 100% niya, matrain niya mo mudugay. In the first three years, I was trying to put Cebu or the Philippine way in ministry there in Cambodia, but it didn't work. I said, Lord, on sa may ako himuon. So I go back to the Bible and ask God for wisdom because language was difficult. Culture is different. Manakato dito, ang baho pag yun, different. Transportation was different. The way they drive in the street is different that we have had three motorbike accidents already. Me and my wife and our daughter Penny going just to the uh, Togani. Language school, katulun namin na kuana, sa gani? Disgrasya. Food was different. We have diarrhea almost every week <laughs> on the first few years. And then finances was difficult, but yet, ang imong tumung is that, Lord, I want that I do what pleases you. Amen. Sometimes our heart is willing to serve God, but our circumstances causes us to draw back and limit our service to God. God wants us not to be just sitting in the chairs to worship Him on Sundays and Wednesdays and whatever day we serve and I mean that we worship God, but God wants us to serve Him 24/7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Amen. A similar situation confronted Paul of his missionary journey. O gusto ko may bao mo, when you serve God, when you go where He sends you, and do what He tells you, you will never know what results might be. What you saw as a 23 years of ministry, which means our ministry began when I quit my job, came home, and I thought, I said, Lord, but God knows. And pastor said, you'll be visiting staff for a while. I said, I thought I'm going to missions. Why, why will I be visiting people? And I did not know until I realized, I arrived in Cambodia, that your ministry is really visiting people. Being a visiting staff for eight months in, in Katipunan, and then leaving our home in Minglanilia, renting a house, a room with one window and one door in Tabuan, was God's way of training us for a dusty and muddy road in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. 22 years ago, Cambodia had only five paved roads. Everything was dirt. And so the uh, dusty road in it and the foul smell of Tabuan Market comes to our, our small room with one daughter and my wife. So my wife had to put perfume in the cotton and put here so that humut ba humut. But you know what? Sometimes we limit God because of circumstances, you know? Uh, James Chalmers was a young boy. I don't know if you know him. In Sunday school in England, a teacher would read a missionary letter. And so he challenged the boys to consider serving God by taking the gospel to a foreign land. And James Chalmers determined he would answer that call. After training, he set out to New Guinea, which at the time was largely populated by mga cannibal. People eating people. I don't know if they kiluhun pa ba ang karne sa una, but I don't know. At that time, was largely populated by people eating people, and fearlessly and faithfully he preached the gospel. Amen. Dunay sa katao na luwas ang ania si Kuni heard the message and asked Chalmers to tell him how to be saved, which he did get saved. And Chalmers went to the next village. Pagbalik niya. He found out Kony was dead. Because uh, another tribe came, a rival tribe came and killed a lot of people, and a spear was thrown to a non Christian 
Wala pa ma-save. And what Coney did was, giharangan niya ang spear. Harun dili mamatay to yung amigo. And so the spear went through his chest and he died. You know what? Mga kaigsunan, deliberately he stepped for that so that his friend would not die. You know why? With his dying breath, niingon si Coney, Great spirit of love. That's God. Amen. I come to thee. Save me for Jesus' sake. Mga a missionary call is often thought of us requiring a trip to a foreign country. Perhaps learning a new language. But you know, the gospel is not restricted to one place only. Or to a certain culture only. The need of the gospel is even right next door where you live. Diyan sa imong barangay. Diyan sa imong subdivision. Mga they need us to reach out to them even if they don't know it. Mas lang kay Bawal, wala mag-iyong kalibutan na ibaw. Kalibutan to aron kay Sale sa SM. Amen? <laughs> God is calling every one of us to be witnesses to those around us. God is calling everyone to be witnesses to those who are your relatives and family. We're all called to be missionaries. You will call us missionaries, but actually the real missionary is the church. The call was not given to me, but the call was given to Bible Baptist Church. The call was given to World in Need Baptist Church. You are the missionary. But because you cannot go to the far lands, we have deputized here, and you have supported us. And we go and we labor hand in hand. Upon makigsunan, kinhanglan, makita nato. Ang gitawag na to nga wisdom ni Paul nga iyang gi forward ngadto sa mga tawo nga pakadungog o ngadto sa mga Kristohano na. And so if you may want to title the message this morning the wisdom of Paul forwarded I have three points only here this morning. Number 1 the perspective of service. Perspective. Ang pagtan-aw na to ba? Sa atong servisyo sa gino. Prior to the verses we just read, Paul received what is known as the Macedonian call. We have a song. We have heard the Macedonian call today. Right? Send the light. He had a vision of a man in Macedonia pleading with Paul to come over, help us. Come over, help us. And Paul answered the call along with Silas and Luke. They undertook the journey described in today's scripture passage. Atong gibasa ganiya. When Paul must have thought when he received such a powerful call to the mission work, only to arrive in a major city of Philippi, a walay synagogue. Walay Jewish synagogue. Kaya balo mo, mangita unta si Paul, ha man tong tao? Huwag man rin? Ha man lugar? Huwag may simbahan? And for their complication, mga kaigsunan, Giprohibit sa Pilipay ang pagtapok-tapok o ang inyong reliyon dili recognized. Murag sa atong mga missionary at sa mga kailang dapit nga restricted like Vietnam, Laos, or China. Uh, pray for our missionary in China. Kaya uh, ang iyang mga contact, gi-interrogate na. No, I cannot say the name. Kay live ta? Live. So, you know who is the missionary in China. Mga Mao na nga nag prayer meeting sila ngadto sa Suba. If there were no 10 15 people to congregate Jewish, they cannot make a synagogue. And so Paul having been trained as a Jew to be a leader among Jews, Paul would have been acquainted with the views of women. And Paul would have said, nganong mga babae may naa? Hamang mga laki. Where are the men? O ang mga magtutudlo, maingon sila sa Jewish, it is better that the words of the law be burned than be delivered to women. No? Mauna'y Jewish teaching and culture. Apan salamat, kaigsunan, we are now under the grace of God. Amen? The fact that Paul was willing to speak with his women indicates he no longer had the view. Nagkikisulti siya sa mga babae dito. But the lack of a synagogue no influence in the city 
prohibition for a religion, the prayer meeting was done in the riverbanks of Makisunan, Makaingunta. So may revival, mahimu anang nag prayer meeting dito, Dublin sa Suba, eh. Pilar naman sila kabuok. Ha? Muna yung atong pananaw, di ba? Can anything good come out of Nazareth? They ask. <laughs> There was an organization nga to sa, sa Amerika, katong Montana. Naghan ka yung mga wolf. So, ang gobyerno ningon, $5,000 ihatag o makakapture mo o mga wolf. no? Alive. Kinadaghanan nga mga wolf makapture ni mo. So, doon ay doon ka doon ka batanon, mga young people, si Sam o si Jed. They decided to make good money. Mag-trap sila ang mga wolves. Namutang sila ang mga trap ngadto sa forest and they went to the woods they searched the mountains followed the tracks mga foot foot uh, uh, fit uh, mga uh, footpath og mga butang silag mga daghang kay mga tra- traps gyud this went for several days wag yu resulta wag yu na trap nga wolf bisag usa bisag balahibo na lang sa wolf unta wala gyud no and one night natug na sila dunay campfire O ang kalayo sa campfire ni kagamay nga nagkagamay nakita sa usa si Sam ay daghang kayong mga mata nga nagpula nagreflect ang ikayo ba ngadto sa mata daghang kayo mga mata sa wolf their eyes were red in the last flickering light of the campfire with their teeth bared makita nimo ngipon sa wolf makita nag puti na Glowing in the moonlight and their backs poised to pounce with their legs behind ready to jump in. Ingon si Sam, Jed, mata na diha. Wake up because we're going to be rich. Ang pagtanaw niya, dili sila mamatay. Matrap to nilang mga wolf. O saya atong pagtanaw sa circumstansya negative. But we have to have the wisdom of God. We have to be always on the positive side. Hello? Daghan na kayo negative ning kalibutan na. The negativity of this world is so overwhelming that my friend, we have the book that is positive. Amen? We have the Holy Spirit that is positive. Amen? And our church and pastor is always positive. Amen? And if Paul have done that, mga kikisunan, si Paul ang taong nag Dahimo siya negative na. Wa tay churches ron sa Pilipay. Amen. Wa tay mga missionaries ron dito sa Europe. Magisunan ang pagtanaw nato sa tong kinabuhi. Kamusta man? Are you enjoying or you are enduring? Hello. Salamat sa Ginoo nga makahimo ta sa bulaton sa Dios ngadto sa atong mga isig ka Cebuano og diri sa Visayas og diri sa Pilipinas apan magisunan hinaot pa nga ato pagtanaw sa atong pagsimba sa Ginoo positive pero amen? amen balak na on sa weather maingon nga ban ini ah, service sa Ginoo weather weather man ni og ulan sa unta man ulan man og init sa unta mag init man magisunan god wants us always to look at the ministry on the positive side Amen. What would you and I may see as dangerous or hostile may be an opportunity for the kingdom of God. <laughs> 2008, we went to Vietnam. My friends brought gospel tracks and made airplanes, paper airplanes, and they put verses. Ngang kay Sunan, ipalupad nga sa kutsi, the old some market gidakop me and we were in stockade for almost 24 hours but that did not stop us amen we talked to the to the men there that were there interrogated us about nine policemen came and one police woman came have the same question over and over again but that did not stop us amen we continued on to pray lord if we have another chance to bring the gospel to Vietnam, we'll bring them again. So last year, 
Nagdala po ko, yata na ko ni missionary Ezekiel Kui, and I gave him, do you know God in Vietnamese language? Aneta po, nahug niya ang gospel tracks. Tuwa dito sa, 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 sa terminal sa bus. And in five minutes, the police came and said, why you have religious paper? Why you have religious booklet? But the thing is that, gipadag balik sa kamudya katong mga papel. <laughs> <laughs> gospel tracks. And they look at me and said, next time you come, bring that. We will not let you come in. At salamat sa gino, Brother Ezekiel Kui. Out of that gospel tracks, duha ang nasangyawan sa gino. Amen? Amen. And a, Cambo- I mean, a Vietnamese that lived in Cambodia for many, many years, came back to Vietnam, don't know any Vietnamese language, do na pa siya na taguan di ay, o katoy gigamit pagtudlo niya itong tawana. Amen? So sabi mo ta, nagkapuy-kapuy raman. Hello. Usay may ngunta, sayang mang investment, wa may return, wa may ganansya. Hello, ang ganansya sa ministry, wa biya din he, tuwa sa langit. Hello. If Paul had done that, he would have bailed out of Philippi, wa siya sa Philippi, but Paul understood that the service of God is always about faithfulness. Matutom? Matinumanon? Sa mga nasabi siya, matinumanon? Faithfulness to God. We are result-oriented people. But God is not interested on the result. God is interested on your faithfulness. And that is wisdom. The reason why I want to bail out on bad situations because I do not see what is the profit. Why is it, what is the profit here? But that is faulty theology. To God... He is the one who makes the profit. Amen? Oh, mamasol ka. Palit kag bangka. Palit kag, say nga na na, bingwit. Palit kag hook and sinker o mga paon. O niya, ato kag river o ato kas dagat. Nagko kag investment. O niya, ingon sa gino. Ayaw paaka na dong isda kay backslider ng Kristuhanon. Wagi mo, paak diha. Amen? Puro mo na gino. Ah, usar may hook pero tulong mo magpaakbiha. Amen. God is the one who is the author of the results of our ministry, our business, our family life, our education, our work in the community. Such an approach says that God only does what is is profitable. Dili dili man gino business oriented. No? That he cares only for the bottom line. While you're doing the ministry, God takes care of you. Amen? Huh? It also means that God is not limited. Amen? Kung magtanong tanong tayo sa result, God is not limited tayo yung ginoo. We talk about building and growing churches as, as if something that we can do, that is something only God can do. Amen? This is a manifestation of what God has done here in Mandawi. Amen? How old is this church again? 18? Huh? Going 19. Going 19. How did this start? Start small in someone's house. Amen? And pastor said to Pastor Ken, Ikaw sa dito to mag Sunday school. <laughs> And he has done the Sunday school until this church has grown. Amen. God wants a relationship with you. And if you are a visitor this morning, or even if you have been here a long time, and you don't have a relationship with God, it's ironic. Alaot ka. Amen. Anugun. And the only relationship you can have in this life, your perspective in life should be, do I have a relationship with God? Because not coming to church, being a religious or a member of a sect or a member of a church can bring you to a relationship with God. And the only relationship we have with God is to the Lord Jesus Christ. I remember Brother Wang and said, uh, we pass out gospel tracts and then he siya, Kadahanang, nanuom yung squal preot? Kana ba nga papel? Makailabata sa kanang ginoong, ginoong, nga si Kristo? 
awinan siya oh makaila ka makahibaw ka unsa ingon siya kana dahanang na inuwa mo yung up of book madayte ingon siya kana papel magtudlo ba na nga atong ihit ang atong ginikanan kudili and then he became interested and then went through the gospel plan of salvation to a gospel track at the end nibutan dito ang gasa sa Ginoo mao ang kaluwasan kay ang kaluwasan dili man nato mahimo gihimo naman ni Kristo wala naman tay madungag anya ako sa giinan wala laing nagpakamatay sa imong sala si Kristo ug wala laing Dios nga nabuhig balik si Kristo lamang ug wala laing Dios gagikan sa langit na himong tao si Kristo lamang ug wala laing Dios nga nahimong uh, tao na namatay dito sa Kalbaryo na buhi siya after three days o nagandam sa imong mansion ngadto sa langit si Kristo lamang nagunaw na siya kay ingon siya si Buddha namatay pero tao man si Buddha gihimo na mong Dios unya si Buddha namatay hantod doon gisimbam nila ang iyang bukog simban niya ang buhok simban nila ang kuko niya wag yoy kasiguruhan sa atong kinabuhi but he didn't get saved through the gospel track that day after the next Saturday at to me kuyog na kong mga bata og serious may gipirmahan na niyang luyo yun siya ugma pwede ba kong musimba yun ko oo oh, yun siya nga naman musimba ka ugma yun siya kay na naman kuy relasyon sa gino ingon mo diyang Bible but as many as receive him to them gave he power to become the son of God you may be a lady you can become a child of God wag kay gisunan may yung kakin sa mangko Am I the right person for God? Magigisunan. God has planted you here in the Philippines, and God has planted the Cambodian people where they are in Cambodia. And we ask a question: Why? Ngano wak mangko sa Amerika? Ngabugnaw manta dito. Ngano wak mangko Australia ngang winter manta dito? Nindut unta. Ngano na mangko dito sa Pilipinas nagantos? We have a wrong perspective of life. Our perspective should be: God planted me in the Philippines. Because God is going to use me here in the Philippines. Amen? Okay, so nang kinahanglan ang atong pagtanaw sa itong kinabuhi sakto. And that is God's wisdom that He gave to Paul. Gitanaw niya ang kinabuhi, nindot ang pagtanaw din diha. Ikaduha mga kaksunan. I'm sorry. My throat is, um, nausab mo niya akong diet mga God. So, akong saan ni Nani akong throat. The Macedonian call was not about huge numbers. There was only one convert when he arrived there, and that is Lydia, a woman named Lydia. So makita nato the second point is the pattern of service. Masa may gihimo bang a formula? Kana mga kisa may manahit dig sa nina. Manahit mo? Wala, wala isa sa eh. Naro ba dagang tako ipa putlan ba? O pa usab, kaya mo naman usab. If you are an engineer, there is a pattern for building, right? Hello? If you are a doctor or nurse, there is always a formula, a pattern how to take care of the sick. But you know what? <clears throat> the pattern here for the ministry is not what you thought it is. Nothing starts big. Everything starts small. Amen? Everything great started very little. Lola Somniang, the grandmother of Nita, tried to win her to the Lord. She said, Di naman ko yun mausab. Mauna mauna niya akong namataan, Buddhist, mamatay ko Buddhist. Ako inan siya, niya mamatay ka Buddhist, asa may mong kalag pa doon. Siya amot lang mag Suroy-suroy. Mamunang tawag nila, magsuroy-suroy. Magbit niya na kan. Hantod nga, matarong akong kalag. Basin pa lang, matukog langit. Ako siya ginan, today, you can make sure you're going to heaven. Nga naman, God's pattern for life is that because we are sinned, we come short of the glory of God. But when we receive the Lord Jesus Christ and have a relationship with Him, we become a citizen of heaven. Amen? 
our name will be written down in the book of life. Pero ni mo siya niyon ba? But you can have our children. So nasakit si Lola sa niyang, kung saan niya tabo, among gibisitaan, niya kay naman siya, diabetes, kung napay heart failure, kung sa pati ko, kahatag unsang tambal, ako yung tambal niya, epikasyent oil. Magdako gikan din eh. Gusahay ka ng Kwan Long. Gusahay ka tong gikan sa Manila, katong Idhawa oil. Or usahay ka ng Olea oil. Kutagaan siya. Ako siya ginan. Kaya bulo ba ka ang oil is a symbol of the Spirit of God? Diyan na mo yung ginahinay o nagidawat na niyang gino. Amen? Muli sa tiyan ni Ingon nga, dada ang mga bata. That's why we have started the school in Kampong Cham. But you know what? Tanaw to sa itong chapter today. Chapter 16 of Book of Acts. We know very little, sorry, about Lydia. A woman of Northwest Turkey, of Tiatira. Ninut kay siya maghimo siyang business. Crops, men guild, mindro siya diya. Guild of knowing how to produce expensive textile. Kanang purple dagi kuha na sa mga snail bitaw, snail. Masa na siya sa bisaya gani? Ha? Basta snail. So, so, hindi, dagko ka na dagko ba? Ang mukha ako nag, puwan. Dahon sa saging. Dahon sa, ha? Ha, basta snail. But Lydia was a member of a society nga tig-produce ang mga textile. And not only a textile, but purple dye. Very high, oh, purple pag yun, oh. Oh, marag purple atong kwan po, no? A seller of a rare, expensive purple dye, Lydia must have enough wealth to buy into that franchise. And we learn in this chapter that while born and reared to believe in the gods and the goddesses of Tiatira, where you can see the Parthenon or the Pantheon, Lydia did not worship the Pantheon gods venerated in that Tiatira city. Instead, she became a God-fearer. Amen? She had already a major step away from religious upbringing and had investigated Jewish claims that there is only one God. Amen? For there is only one God and one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. Dili mediatrix nga si Maria. Amen? Hello? So Lydia at Philippi's riverside with a group of women who had come together there to pray was there to listen to Paul. Since she was a Gentile, her exposure to traditional synagogue would have been severely limited. But there at the riverbank, she found a place where she belongs. Inumnung ko sa una ang GMA sa TV bitaw? GMA, where you belong. <laughs> Dili man na siya, ano man siya? Kapamilya ba na? Kapuso sa ron. Kapuso ron sa una, where you belong mo na. Makikisunan, we as God's creation, the special creation of God, men created in His own image, we belong to heaven. We don't belong in this world. We don't belong in this sinful and crooked world. We belong to God's abode up in glory in His kingdom there. Hinaot pa, karon buntag, mag-decide ka, huwag pa kamaluas, that you will belong to God and He belongs to you. And here in Mandawi, this is your church. This is where you belong. Ay mo, ang bak-ambak, o doon ay muad to sa inyong trabaho, mag-Bible study, on sa diya, muambak mo dito kay mas nindo to da. It's greener pasture. Amen? Hello? This is where you belong. Some people don't feel comfortable to go to a traditional church, but in the sad ways, they go and we must go there where they are. That's why doon na mo yung mga outreach. Asan sa Ortipulo? Pau, ha? O Pau? Dagang mo outreach. Amen? We have evangelist efforts and bless and feeding and all these things. We do this. Why? Why? Adto na itong mga tao. And that is the pattern of God. The Lord Jesus Christ left heaven so that He would come here and be with us. That's why we send out missionaries and preachers into the places around the Philippines and around the world. Why? Because that is the pattern of God. It was there in Paul and Silas met Lydia and talked with her about Jesus. And there she became the first convert of Christianity 
in the place called Macedonia. Today it's called Greece. Convinced of the truth of the Christian gospel, believing that it was for everyone, she bore witness of her entire household with her. Ang tibok pamilya ni Lydia na luwas. They were all baptized. Basahon ni Mudia sa Bible. Amen? Ha? Kanawa, balik agbasa. 13, verse 13, chapter 16, verse 13, Acts. And on the Sabbath, we went out of the city by riverside where prayer was wont to be made. And we sat down and spake unto the women which resorted thither. And a certain woman named Lydia, seller purple of the city of Theatira, which worshipped God, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened. Makigsunan, dili kita mo oy magsulwa sa tao. Ang ginoong magluwas, magwabli sa ilang kasing-kasing. Huwag ang pulong sa Diyos, magsunod diya kanila. Ang malang Espiritu magsunod diya kanila. Because whenever the preaching of the gospel is preached, the Spirit of God is being preached to them. And God's life and breath is in the gospel, is in the Word of God. Magsunan, the heart of Lydia was opened. O ginawad pa ko ng buntag, aablihan na yung kasing-kasing. Kristuhanon, ablihay mo kasing-kasing that God would help us to realize we ought to have the wisdom of God and serve Him no matter what. Amen. God opened His heart. She attended to the things which were spoken of Paul. Sato pagihimu niya. And when she was baptized, laluwas siya, gibaptizan siya. And her household. Amen. And you go on to the next part of chapter 16. You can see also the jailer was saved. Amen? And her, his household. Amen? The apostles stayed for several weeks instructing her and her household in that what she needed a new direction as follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. There in her large house, she began the first Christian church on Greek soil. The first house church was done in the house of Lydia. Welcoming other new believers into the fellowship of faith. Lydia was successful for both her professional work and her social or spiritual work. Nurturing the new Christian church in her own house. Why building? In Lydia we see a woman whose skill and interest is not confined or limited to one area. Indeed, we see that both of her position in commerce and her knowledge of faith made her uniquely qualified to spearhead the church in Greece. As Paul speaks, Bible says, she listened and opened her heart. The Greek word for listening indicates a continuing act. Kana mamino ka? Process na. Wala ka na minaw sa gino, samtang nagwali or samtang nag, 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 nagbasa ka. But you listen to God even as you drive. I told my boys this morning, stop talking and listen to God while we drive to Mandawi. You know why? Because God can talk to us even as we see a sign, billboard. God can talk to us. God can talk to us while we see the fruits, mangoes, diha, dool sa may banilad, banana diha. But in other words, Lydia had been listening to those at the riverbank growing in her devotion to God. But that day, Paul led her a little bit further down the road of intellectuality, understanding God was and God how Jesus came down to die for her. Amen? Some people come to know Christ as their Savior at once. But Lydia did not come to know Christ at once. Hinay, 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 hinay. Diha siya nakaila, diha kang Kristo. Amen? She would come to the riverside. She would come to the riverside every Sabbath until Paul came and she got saved. I remember Wang's wife, Lut, Sok Lut Set. Sok Lut Set. So we call her Lut. Not Lot in the Bible, but Lot in Cambodia. Na save si Wang. Katong ako istorya ganiha. And then we would do evangelistic programs in the villages and vacation Bible school and medical mission. They used to have a van, 15-seater. The church has a van already. I told my wife, Mag-abangan na to ilang van. Yung siya, naan naman tayo van? Nga nung mga abang pangka. Ikarga dito ang mga kuan, mga gamit. Ikarga dito sa ilang van ang mga tao. 
You know, kumisis, madarang mana, kay usara maggasto pa tayo, ko sige lang. But my goal was that, si Lot, wala pa man siya ma-promote sa iyong trabaho sa deep ed, kay librarian man siya. Free siya. So we would go, she would come. And whenever the gospel is preached, she can hear it. That was my goal. Nga, makukuhig siya sa iyong bana, makadungog siya sa pulong sa gino, that was my goal. And it took her more than one year. Sa dihang ako misis na nagsugo nagtudlo niya og English dito na siya. Kay dili ra man English ang itudlo, itudlo man ang kaluwasan diha kang Kristo. Niingon din siya, akod pong dawaton ang gino sa akong bana. Kay akong bana di namang gyud siya maghimo sa mga katuntuhan sa una. Nausab naman akong bana. Sa dihang naluwas si Lot, unsa man kigsunod ni tabo? Ang katong mga altar-altar sa gawas, spirit house. Mi spirit house. Kanang ilang dagkutan diha arong mga demonyo di musod sa balay dito ra. Gipalabay na niya. O katong altar sold sa balay para puto sa mga bodyguard ng mga demonyo dito, iya pong ipalabay dito. Amen. Na sila security guard sa gawas na pa bodyguard sa sod. Gipalabay no to tanan ngano yung mun siya. I am now a son of Jesus Christ, a daughter of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ protects me now. Ipaputol na niya ka itong mga pulaw, mga 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 ng hilo. Ah, hilo nila eh. Ah. Kaya nang ganun yung kwan? Thread. Thread. Higot. Kaya mato kag temple, mato kag fish na sila yung red. And that ibutang niya sa mong kamot for protection. Dili na ito. Haroon makukiktan ka siyawa sa demonyo. Ipaputol niya tanan. O katong ilang habak paputol na po niya. Kaya yung siya I am now protected by the true and the living God. Amen. The pattern was slowly, slowly, the Bible seeped into her. Kanang baga, gahi nga kasing-kasing. Sa mga tungad-tungad-tungad, ang pulong sa gino, ni sunop, giyod sa iyang kasing-kasing. That is God's pattern. There are people who get saved at once, boom, kadungog, luwas na yun. But the people... So slowly, 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 and then when the time of ripe season has come, they be saved instantly. Once you're saved, you're saved. Amen. Dili mang kahin na hinay mas save. Ang pasabot anak diha hinay hinay ang pag pag paybalo sa ginoo sa muha. And when you realize you need a savior, God saves you instantly. Amen. Magigsonan para na naghimo kagligo baligo, himo kagligo. Kung anak sa una, na naging na siya yung ligo, gihatag siya yung lula. Ang ligo niya, nawagtang man itong usak, ligo nga, peace. Mahumanan ta ito. Niya mo mo importante katong nawagtang. Huwag yun matiwas, ang iyang ligo nga, kanang auto-auto, auto-auto. Makigsunan, ang ginoo mo ay atong the final piece of the puzzle sa atong kinabuhi. Ugwa siya sa atong kinabuhi, di tamalwas. Ugwa siya sa atong pagtanaw niya yung kinabuhi sa pagservisyo niya. Huwag yun why nada ato magserbisyo niya and god is the pattern of our of our ministry the lord jesus christ started in the place where so low asad gani ngadto sa mga mananap he was born there in the stable he wasn't born in the hospital he wasn't born there in the palace the king of kings and lord of lord was born in a manger magigsunan That's the pattern. We start from small. And God wants us to realize, Mike Sunan, God can use a lady in Tiatira. And Mike Sunan, she was taking the next step on her spiritual journey, Miss Lydia, and step uh, was trusting Christ as Savior. How exciting that Lydia, the first European convert in Christianity, for a fact, siya ay gisugdan ngadto sa Europe. Amen? Mike Sunan, She opened her home, gave her business, and God has blessed so far. To bring someone in your home is to upset your order and ways in the house. Kasulay na mo dawat o bisita sa balay, ana matog, ana mga on, ana maligo, ana tanan, ana mga laba. Hello, mo sab ayang dagan sa balay. And to some that's uncomfortable, but to Lydia, to her. She counted as a blessing, amen. For every person you are hospitable to, disorder increases in the home. Lydia has the ability to be hospitable because of the size of her home. She has the desire. She urges them to strongly 
But she, so yung niya, tanaw dito, balik ta sa verse uh, number 15. If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. And she constrained us. Gipugo sila. Amen? I remember my, my mother would always welcome Dr. Gisalva, Pastor Ralph Baladhai, Pastor Siciliano, uh, Pastor Ruben Lumagba Sr. They come. They sleep in our bed. They sleep in our house. And we boys go out and they're in the living room. We sleep there or we sleep in our aunt's house. But you know what? What you sow, you reap. Amen? <laughs> we go out and go to the churches now. We experience the same thing. And we pray in those beds because our pastors have prayed in those beds that made us to realize if my parents did not ask those pastors to sleep in our house and sleep on our bed, I don't know where I am today. Me, my two brothers became pastors for the Lord's ministry. Why? Because being hospitable brings about many blessings. Number three. Amen? First one. I said the first point, Ganit, Brad? Perspective. Ang pagtanaw. Ikadua, ang pattern. Ikatulo. Wala mo ito, ikatulo niya. Nangaon mi sa Dabao last week ba? This is my second time to preach this message. Onya, butangan ang salad, di butangan o cream. Hindi mo kubutang cream sa salad kay di mo na pwede, ingon ako misis. Pwede man tanah, ingon man siya, di ko na pwede. Pwede, hindi pwede. So, pangutanan ko, so mo na yung cream, yung siya, all purpose, sir. Oh, to ana akong third point, the purpose. <laughs> the purpose of service, amen? amen? God's wisdom brings it to Paul to serve God, and every service of God has a purpose. Do na gito yung gino. Look at verse 40. Ang bakta. Acts 16, verse 40. O sa may tuyo sa gino. Anong babae may gisugdan niya? Share our bagod sa... Salamat sa gino, gi-imbitar niya silang Paul dito, o Silas, o Luke, na luwas iyang pamilya. But verse 40, ang bakta. Gita mo yung istorya ng uh, the jailer. But ano sa verse 40? Last verse of chapter 16. Basado nga, ready, go. And they went out of the prison and entered the house of Lydia. And when they had seen the brethren, they comforted them and departed. Kinsay na, na, na priso? This is not an ordinary time. Paul and Silas was in prison. Amen? Dito sila, naluwas ang jailer. O karun, nibalik sila kang Lydia. They ended up in their house again. The brethren there means the brothers, the people, the family. And I really think the ministry they received in verse 15 by staying at Lydia's house was a surprise blessing. Yung sila, kapuya atong Krisuhanoy, baho, init, huwag klarong kaon, huwag takapang laba, ato tang lidya. Nindo dito yung lugar, makapanglaba ta, makaligo ta, pakanoon pa ta. Amen? <laughs> and Paul and the crowd left Lydia, they cast out the demon, arrested there for being so preaching. God sends an earthquake, releases them from prison, they use uh, of the Lord to convert the jailer and his family and they reappeared before the government to exercise the rights of a Roman citizen and it was a busy, busy day for them but when they left Philippi they have talked about how many nice comfortable time with Lydia but you know what it comes word hospitality comes from the word hospital. Araw sa mga hospital. Ha? Ayaw ka. Magkomportable ka. Ano sa kita yung mong ulo? Maadto ka hospital. Putaan kag ice cup, tagaan kag paracetamol ba na? No? But you know what? Now we are really put into those two words together in our culture because mental images they regenerate hospitality or hospital. Bas, hospital is a place where it's away from home but brings healing and wholeness. Sakto ba na, ma'am, sa Wholeness. Hospitality is not about vacation but about allowing your home and your presence to bring emotional, mental, spiritual healing to others. <laughs> our home is a castle but also our home can become a place 
of comfort for others. Amen? Huh? When my boys were younger, they felt like they're like uh, Superman or Batman, like a superhero. Huh? They ruled the house. My son would make little guns out of bun paper and crawl around and thinks he is uh, Indiana Jones. <laughs> God did not design us to be like that. Amen? We are made for the community out there. God told Paul and Silas in verses 25, not long ago, we were just nobodies. Not long ago, we were just talking to a few. But now, they had come from Lydia, evangelistic effort. They had done the missionary work. Now, it is a church. Nahimunang church ang balay ni Lydia. The missionaries encouraged the brothers at the church. They encourage the brethren. Makigsunan. Lydia is using her gifts and possessions to start the church in Philippi. Paul is using his gifts and ability to exhort and encourage, build the church spiritually. They are a community. They are working together. Makigsunan. Kinalan. Sama-sama tatanan. Hello? That is a great picture of the church. A friend named Jong Vital came to Kampung Cham. And he said, okay, we'll visit our friend there by the river. His name is Vito, and he has another friend. Usually on Saturday, we go out. But this time, they came to church. And we have a long talk there outside on the cement table outside the school. And then, panahon naman paniod to. So I said to my wife, maniod to tayo. siya, kumon tayo makaon. Kung paghimulan diya kung sa. In conclusion, mga kisunan, Vito got saved. And we had Mother's Day three weeks ago. Vito brought her, his wife to church and the son to church and the wife got saved on Mother's Day. And now they have their son in the school, in our preschool. In conclusion, how are you doing as a member of World in Need Baptist Church? Is your home secluded like a fortress? <laughs> or is it open being a place of comfort for others to come to know Christ? Are you using your gifts and abilities to do what you can where you are? Are you listening in such a way that you are taking the next step into your own spiritual journey? Hinaot pa, dilita bench warmer or seat warmer. We become an active member of a church, this church. Are you letting your circumstances determine your devotion to God or are you nurturing a heavenly perspective as well. Are you willing to open your heart that all you have to be a servant of God like Lydia? I close with this illustration. Dunai Church did to Canada. They're working to buy a land and build a church in Tungliao, China their mission. They asked members to give what they could. One of the poorest of the poor members, man of the church, made a living out of taking care of pigs. He had almost nothing. pig farm, But wanted to help. He asked the pastor what he should give. And the pastor encouraged him to seek God's direction. So, he took the fattest pig to market, sold it for equivalent of $13.35. On his way home, he thought, Nagnaw na siya. Ako na tanang i-round up na lag 14 ang akong upering sa gino. Lahe mo nang bungkik, bungkik mo na. Broken money. He said, from his poverty, he scraped another 65 cents to make $14. And within one year, the church had not only been able to buy the land in China, but built a building completely walay utang. Okay, soon and too often, when it comes to giving our service to God, be it song, soul winning, involvement, or offering, we round it down. We round it off down. 
mga igsunan hinaut pa atong i-round up ang atong serbisyo sa Ginoo. We give God a little as we think we can get by with giving. It in truth at all we have already things and all that we have our life, our life, our health, everything, our strength belongs to God. We are just piniyalan ni tanan. When we are generous with the resources God has entrusted to support his work, he blesses us more greatly. When we are stingy, we rob ourselves of his best in store for us. Makigsunan hinaut pa ng atong himon ang tanan because God's wisdom is in his word. Amen. Ngayon ka. Unsa ka no? Butaman tunay buta sa Africa. Ingon ni ang pastor ng missionary. Pastor tagay ko Bible. Ngon ang pastor, sa mo yung Bible, buta mo ka. Siya, just give me the Bible in, in French. Northwest Africa, French speaking, not British or whatever. So the pastor just gave this blind black woman, old, illiterate, and then she said, Pastor, butangig marka ang John 316. Put in red, red mark. So, gisundan sa pastor ang buta. Kada hapon, ang buta ni Adto sa Boys High School, exclusive for French-speaking teachers. Inigawa sa alas 4, musingit ang tiguang dito. Ngunit siya sa Bible, nakabutang sa John 3.16, ang iyang marker. Who can read French? Who can read French? Mga batang lalaki, mudul niya, Boys High School man, Udol niya, I can read French. O iyang pakliyon dito, John 3.16, iyang inon. Basa, nai-read diha. Basa. Inigbasa, pangutano na niya, do you understand what you read? May unang bata, huwag may kasabot. O iya din sang yawan, kay gigog mo sa Diyos, ang kalibutan. For God so the world, that He gave us His only begotten Son. And mga kiksunan, over a span of two years, 200 boys accepted Christ as Savior. And after 10 years, 24 of those boys became pastors in Northwest Africa. God has a plan. His plan is in the book, the book of wisdom. Our perspective should be God's way. Our pattern should be God's way. And our purpose should be God's will. Lord, thank you for this morning been a long morning, but Lord, I pray that your spirit will be with us. Use your word that we would not only react, but respond to your word. Holy Spirit, now speak to us. We glorify you and trust you in what you're going to do in our midst. kaluwasan <laughs> Hinaut pa karong buntaga mo yung ka, Lord, Sir, Pastor, Missionary, akong dawaton si Kristo. Akong dawaton si Kristo, akong manluwas. Ado na ba? Itasi mong tuong kamot. Ayan po. Ayan po, tika. Ado na ba? Dili ko sigurado sa akong ugma. Ugma matay ko, akibalo akong kalagad sa padong hinaut pa karong buntag mo yung ka, gusto na ako. Si Kristo, may mga akong personal maluwas. Doon na ba? Doon na ba? Will not take long for you. But if there's anyone, please raise your hand. I'll pray for you. Doon na ba? Christian, the challenge is for you this morning. Kamusta man ang atong pagserbisyo da sa gino? Are we looking at, looking at it the right perspective? Are we doing it according to the pattern of God? Do we have the right purpose for service? Okay, Unka, I like Paul and Lydia. What they have done for God. Pisagamay na lang unta ako may mo. Like Paul and Lydia. Missionary, please pray for me. I want my service to God, the right perspective, the right pattern, and follow God's purpose in life. Duna ba? Raise your hand. I'll pray for you. Duna ba? Amen. Duna pa ilayan? Anyone else? You want the wisdom of Paul forwarded to your life as well. Anybody else? 
I'll pray now, Lord. Thank you. Holy Spirit, God, continue to search our hearts, convict us. And while your people have raised their hands, I pray, Lord, that even those that have kept their hand down, but their hearts are open for you. May you open their hearts wider and receive this blessing from you. This morning, Lord, allow us to come to you so that we could put action to our faith. I claim the power of the Holy Spirit, the blood of Christ, that would cleanse us from all sin. And I claim now that your people might come to you, draw to you, draw near to you in this very hour. Why don't we come to God this morning here in the altar and say, Lord, use me more. Lord, rearrange my life. Please come to the front. Anyone? Anyone? Please come. Put action to your faith. Knowledge is knowledge if we don't act on it. You act on knowledge, that's wisdom. Moving forward in the wisdom of God is putting the Word of God in our hearts and minds into action. Come to God this morning. You're not coming because of the preacher. You're not coming because of our pastor. We're coming because of God has spoken to you. Ayo pagaya mo kasing kasing. Victory in Jesus is very, very near. It's the distance from your knee to the floor. It's just one foot and a half, mga kagsunan. Mapagaya kasi mong kasing kasing, you are limiting the power of God in your life. Set it free. Set it free. Oh, that song. A new song was born when I found Jesus. And there's another new song is born when you serve God faithfully. Songs were written about Christians in Cebu City who had been faithful to Him, not only in this generation, but in the generation to come. Lord, your people have come here. You know their need, you know their hearts, you know their desires. We want to worship you, Lord, because we love you. We want to thank you, dear Lord, because you have first loved us and we love you, Lord. May you bless us, Lord. May we return to our respected homes this noontime, refreshed, renewed, rekindled. And Lord, I pray that you will continue to use us, Lord, mightily. Thank you now and we claim the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, his blood, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Are we blessed?